A memorial continues to grow in Humboldt, the tiny Saskatchewan town torn apart by a bus crash that killed 15 members of a junior hockey team and injured 14 others. Some had hoped to play professional hockey. Others had dedicated their lives to coaching and shaping the lives of young hockey players. Others also excelled in areas outside of hockey. Tears continue to flow across Canada tonight as we learn more about the unique boys and men who are part of the Humboldt Broncos family. He was a mainstay on the Broncos blue line. But Xavier LaBelle didn't just play hockey. He was also a promising musician. The 18-year-old hailed from Saskatoon and is being remembered as a budding piano player and an outstanding student, fluent in both English and French. A former coach says Xavier worked hard on the ice and was very respectful away from the rink. Uh, we battled as a complete team the whole game. Adam Harold was a standout player for the Regina Pack Canadians before getting the call to join the Humboldt Broncos for their playoff run. Adam, congratulations yep, on winning you. You tomorrow. Thank you. The youngest member on the team, Adam played just eight games for Humboldt prior to his death. He would have turned 17 years old on Thursday. 18-year-old Logan Hunter was a right winger who began his junior A career in St. Albert, just outside Edmonton. All three players lived with the same Billet family in Humboldt. Their deaths tearing that household apart tonight. A heartbroken Renee Cannon tweeting out a picture of the three boys with the caption, Goodbye, my sweet sons. Um, we're going to need support in our community. We're going to need to be there for each other and uh, we're going to be... Um, you know, doing this for not just days, not just weeks, not months, but it could be longer. His voice was synonymous with the Humboldt Broncos, relaying every moment of the team's glory over the radio. Play-by-play -play announcer Tyler Bieber turned 29 in February and was a well-respected volunteer in Humboldt's hockey and football communities. Bieber was also a mentor with the local Big Brothers Big Sisters program and was just wrapping up his first year calling Broncos hockey. There are still more questions than answers tonight. Two days after a transport truck carrying Pete Moss T-boned the team's bus at the intersection of two remote highways near Tisdale, Saskatchewan. The truck driver was not injured and was detained briefly by police before being released. Yesterday, the RCMP said they're looking into all possible factors, including mechanical failure and driver error. As that investigation continues, the tributes continue to pour in for the players, the coaches and the team personnel tonight. You can read more about their personal stories on our website, citynews.ca.